Welcome back to Factor 85 Labs. Today we're going to tie some hitches. A hitch is a knot used to secure rope to a tree or a pole or a post, uh, something where you need the end of the rope secure. Let's tie some knots. So to start with, we're going to tie a half hitch. Now, the previous knot video I did, we started with a overhand knot, which is about as simple as a knot can get. You just cross the rope, go through, and you've got your overhand knot. So a half hitch is basically an overhand knot, but we're gonna tie it around something. So we'll pass the rope around our tree or our post, we'll cross, and we'll go through. Now, instead of pulling tight this way, which would be an overhand knot, we're just going to leave the tail hang out over here and pull it snug down. This is a half hitch. A single half hitch isn't really that secure, but this is the starting point for a lot of other knots. Next, we have two half hitches. So, Two half hitches is an easy way to secure the end of a rope. It will tighten down around a tree or whatever object you're tying on. So to start, we're going to first tie a half hitch. And there's that first half hitch. And then we're just going to bring the rope up here, across again, and through this loop. And this just makes a second half hitch. Slide that down tight. This gives us a knot that we can pull tight. And it's just going to tighten down around whatever we put it on. And it'll stay pretty secure. Now if we need to tie our hitch around something that is slick and smooth, like this pipe here, uh, and we're worried about the hitch kind of slipping loose because there's not any bark or anything for it to grip onto, then we can do what's called a round turn with two half hitches. Basically, a round turn just means that we wrap the rope around one full time, like so, before we tie our two half hitches. And that just gives us a little more grip on a slippery pole or post something that the rope slides on this just gives us a little more grip like that you can do as many turns around this as you want to keep it from slipping and in fact if you do a bunch of turns then you'll tie something called a pipe hitch and a pipe hitch is used to tie the rope onto a pipe so that you can drag the pipe So there I've got a bunch of wraps, and now I'll do my two half hitches. And this is called a pipe hitch. And what the pipe hitch does is it keeps from sliding, pulling this direction or this direction. So if I was dragging a pipe, I could tie this pipe hitch on there and then I could pull this way and it's not gonna slide. But if I grab the knot, then I can slide it up and it'll still hold tight. Now while we're talking about hitches used for dragging things, let's talk about a timber hitch real quick. So for the timber hitch, we're going to go around, we're going to cross over and under. So you can see we've made a little eye here. And then we're just going to take this tail of the rope and we're going to wrap it around here as many times as we can. So that's what we've got. Now with the timber hitch, when we pull it tight, it slides tight and all those wraps get pulled tight against the tree or whatever we're tightening it on. And the more we pull tight, it just binds up more. This won't work on something really smooth and slick like this pipe, but the timber hitch will work really well on a rough surface like a tree uh, or a log. 
a timber hitch is made for dragging. So what we can do is take the rope and we're going to do an extra little half hitch up here in the direction we're dragging and that way if we're pulling a log or dragging something behind our vehicle or just dragging it back to our camp this will keep that log from rolling around and bouncing while we pull it behind us. The timber hitch is especially useful for dragging or pulling something because no matter how hard you pull it once you loosen it up it's very easy to get it undone. Alright, next is one of my favorite hitches. This is called a top line hitch. So we're going to start by getting our rope around our tree or our pole. We're going to go around here like we're tying a half hitch and we're going to wrap it around a second time. So we're tying a second hitch right here. So we've got two wraps in there and then we'll cross up over here and get our th third hitch out here. So we've got three hitches, two in here and one out here. Now once you've tightened this knot up, the idea behind the taut line knot is that the loop does not slide when I'm pulling here. The loop will stay whatever size I make it. But I can grab the knot, and I can slide it down, and it will stay that size. Or if I need to tighten my line up, and it stays right there. So this gives me an adjustable loop. And this is really nice for tying to a tent stake or to a rain fly, corners of a tarp, something where you need to adjust the tension and have it stay tight. Sometimes if you're tying in a nylon rope like this, this knot can get a little slick and it can slide on its own. And if that happens, you just add some extra wraps in here, throw a few more hitches, And that can solve the problem of keep your taut line from sliding around on its own. All right, our last knot is the clove hitch. So let's wrap our rope around. And then we are going to cross over. We're going to wrap around again. And we're going to take this tail and it's going to go under this side. So I'll leave it a little bit spread out there so you can see the path around, across, up, and under over here. And we want that to all sit together nice and neat like this. And that is a clove hitch. Nice thing about a clove hitch is it can be tied at the end of the rope like this. And you can pull in either direction and it's tight in both directions. So you could tie this in the middle of your line where you needed to pull in both directions and this would stay put. So let's say I want to tie a clove hitch on this branch here and I'm tying here in the middle of the rope. I want to pull in both directions. This is a post here in the middle of my rope fence that I'm putting up around my garden. So what I can do is make two loops. Now I'm right-handed so I'm working with my right hand putting right over left making a second loop right over left and then I'm putting the right hand loop behind the left hand loop and then if I slip this over that branch and pull it tight that's a clove hitch and that's the way that I can tie a clove hitch in the middle of my rope without having to wrap it around and pull the ends through Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If there's any other knots that you want to learn how to do, let me know. Leave me a comment. If this was helpful, let me know that too. If you enjoyed this video, hit that little like button. If you want to see any more videos, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.